This is the female that's actually sat outside the hide at the moment and um, she's just finished mating with the male and she's still busy inspecting the, the nesting area that the male is actually showing off to her at the moment. The male has actually just arrived now and um, he's been very very busy this morning with the female, lots of interaction between the two of them and they actually look like they're a very happy couple together. He's working really hard, he's busy cleaning three holes, nesting holes out and uh, presenting her with fish, mating and I don't think she has actually decided which hole she wants to actually use here and um, I suppose as it gets closer to the time that the eggs will be ready, that uh, she'll make a decision. Today, they've been showing so well. It's some of the uh, best photography I've actually taken before in the past, wildlife photography anyway, and We've got numerous shots of the male going in and out of the water and then just going from each different perch here today. And uh, there's about three people that's actually in the hub at the moment and they're just as excited as what I am about uh, some of the quality shots that they've actually had.
Morning everybody. I'm actually at uh, Rhymead RSPB this morning and um, been in the Kingfisher hide for about two hours now and the people that's on the other side of the door including myself really ec ecstatic with the uh, the quality of the footage that they've actually had today. Each person has actually told me it's the best viewing of kingfishers that they've ever had and um, what I would like to do now once I've found this location um, is to be able to record videos for the whole of the breeding season and what's actually happened this morning there's been a lot of activity with the male and the female the female's been outside on the uh, perch while the male has been in and out of each one of the holes and uh, cleaning it out and presenting himself to the female diving for fish presenting her with the fish and lucky enough I managed to see the uh, actual mating this morning and this is the first time this year that they've got together and they've actually started mating and where they're mating is actually on the old bank and um, they there's actually been a nesting area here since the 1970s but now we've actually got two nesting areas and what the RSPB intend to do now is let the old hide become overgrown at the front so they're not going to maintain the front of that anymore and um, they want to try and concentrate on the, the new nesting area and the reason being they've got four or five different um, artificial holes that have been done in concrete and at the back of the, the nesting areas is a chamber where the RSPB can actually put in cameras and uh, everything can be viewed then from the main hub which is going to make it very interesting for the people that come here to visit but these um, nesting areas have been specially made that the kingfisher actually has that choice whether he wants to use the artificial hole or whether they want to still use uh, the normal means that they do where they burrow into the sand and then make up uh, the nest themselves. Now one of the reasons that they clear the area in front of the nesting box is to be able to stop predators from being able to get there and um, we've got stoats, we've got otters, we've got weasels and um, it doesn't totally stop predators from being able to get in. One of the biggest predators they've actually got is the herons here. The herons are very very patient as you probably noticed yourselves they can stand for hours just waiting for something to actually come their way and this is the same when they know that there's chicks inside the uh, nesting holes and they actually wait for those birds to emerge and the kingfishers here actually reverse out of the holes and then they drop down and then fly off and that's going to be something really quick that the uh, chicks is going to have to learn because even though there's quite a long incubation period with the kingfisher once the young birds actually emerge the, the parents only 
look after them for five days and they've got such a lot to learn in that time. How to be able to fend for themselves, how to be able to look after themselves and the most important thing is how to be able to dive and dive successfully because the death rate with young kingfishers is very high and most of them actually die from the first time that they've dived into the water after following the parents they don't know what to expect they don't know really what they're doing so it's a big learning curve for a young king, kingfisher but then again the on the good side of that the kingfishers actually here at Rhymead they will produce three broods in a season and therefore we're actually looking that they'll probably raise about 15 young altogether in that season which uh, gives everybody a good chance to be able to have a future with our kingfishers <coughs> excuse me so um, as I say what I'm going to do is constantly do a video and keep you guys posted of um, what, what's actually happening at this location so I'll see you soon